This template, titled Picture with Cutout Artistic Effects, was designed by professional PowerPoint designer Julie Turberg and is available as a free download on office.com. When you download this template, you can find the complete instructions to create these effects in the slide notes right here. I'm going to demonstrate how to create four of the effects on the slide. How to apply an artistic effect to this picture in the background. How to format this picture. How to create a gradient fill in this shape. And how to add a caption and a text box right here. You see that I've already inserted the picture onto the slide. Now I select the picture, and on the Format tab, I click Crop. I select this bottom cropping handle, and I drag it towards the top of the slide. I want the picture to be about four and a half inches high, so I continue cropping until it says roughly four and a half inches in the height box right here. When I'm done cropping, I click Crop again. Next, I'm going to apply an artistic effect to this picture. I click Artistic Effects, and then I select Cutout. Finally, I click Color, and under Recolor, I'm going to select Washout. You see that I have inserted the same picture a second time. I have resized and cropped it so that it's four and a half inches high and four and a half inches wide. Now, I need to change several of the settings for this picture. To do that, I open the Format Picture dialog box by clicking the dialog box launcher right here. First, on the Line Color tab, I select Solid Line, and then I click the button next to Color, and I specify a custom color. Next, on the Line Style tab, I enter 15 point into the Width box, I select Square for a cap type, and I select Miter in the Join Type list. Then, on the Shadow tab, I click the button next to Presets, and under Enter, I select Inside Center. Next, on the Glow and Soft Edges tab, I enter 11 point into the Size box, and 60% into the Transparency box. Then I click the button next to Color, and I specify another custom color. Finally, on the Artistic Effects tab, I click the button that star Artistic Effect, and I select Cutout. Once I've completed making my changes, I click Close. Now I need to add a rectangle to the slide. On the Home tab, I click Shapes, and then under Rectangles, I click Rectangle. On the slide, I drag to draw my rectangle. Next, under Drawing Tools, I click Format, and then I want to set the height of my rectangle to 2.82 inches, and the width to 10 inches. Next, I click Shape Fill, I point to Gradient, and then I click More Gradients. In the Format Shape dialog box, on the Fill tab, I select Gradient Fill. In the Type list, I select Linear. In the Angle box, I set to 90 degrees, and then I make sure that there are three gradient stops in the slider under gradient stops. Now, I select the first stop, I set the color to white, and I set the position to zero. The second stop, I specify a custom color, and I set the transparency to 47%. Also, the position is set to 30%. Then, I select the third stop, I set the color to white, and I set the position to 100%. Finally, I click Line Color and I select No Line. I click Close to finish. I also need to send the rectangle backwards so that it is behind the second picture. For the final step, on the Insert tab, I click Text Box and then I drag to draw a text box on the slide. I enter my text, and then I select the edge of the text box. I want to select Sego Print for my font. 
and then set the font size to 36 point and finally click bold. And now the slide is complete. You can find this PowerPoint template and more on office.com.